to my channel so in this video i'm going to use this princess that uh cut to show you guys how to make this six pieces dress so guys uh, i already have a video on how to make this pattern but i'm going to just breeze through it just so that you guys can uh see how to make it instead of just drafting it uh behind the camera so the first thing you're going to do is just rule out your line so you see i marked half an inch before i started inserting all my measurements and then the next measurement i'm going to insert here is just going to be come up here mark your my shoulder measurement which is 16 divided by 2 is going to be 8 on this line of this 8 i'm going to come down one inch for my shoulder slope right somewhere here and then after that i'm going to insert my armhole divided by 2 which is 9 and it's here right so i'm going to just go ahead and mark that out and then this is my armhole line which is also your chest line so after that you're going to go ahead and mark your shoulder to your nipple some people it can also be your chest line which is this but i'm going to just use my uh, bust line you can also use this line above here after that you're going to mark your um under bust line your shoulder to your under bust uh, for me that's 16 my shoulder to my waist which is 18 and then my shoulder to my hip 25 and then just i'm using 35 for the length of this dress because of that's the length of the pattern but when i go to draft it on my fabric i'm just going to extend it because i want the dress to be at least 40 inches but the pattern paper doesn't go up to that length so just uh use it this way so let me just label it so this is going to be my chest line my bust line which is my shoulder to my nipple this is my armhole line that's my chest line my bust line my under bust my waist and then my hip so once you've done that now the next thing i'm going to do is just to come down here take my bust measurement divided by four and mark that here once i've marked it that's supposed to be 10.5 because my bust is uh 42 i'm also going to go ahead and insert my neckline three inches connect my shoulder slope like this and then give it like extra half an inch of sewing right and then once i've done that i'm going to go ahead and find halfway through this point halfway from here so you're first supposed to give it a curve right guys like i said i have an in-depth tutorial on how to make this on my channel so that you can be able to get it but i just want to draft the pattern so on this my chest on this my bust line now i'm just going to go ahead and divide my um nipple to nipple by two which is going to be four but i'm going to add half an inch here and then on this line i'm just going to insert the four inches without adding any 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 half an inch to it and then i'm going to bring it down all the way to the end mark it all the way to the end of the line and once you've done that go ahead and connect all this the lines that are equal which is all these ones here connect it to this point and then also connect it to this point right and then once i've finished that now i'm also going to connect from here to here right i'm going to connect from here to here and then with this done now i'm also going to go ahead and mark about um two inches here because this is for a big bust if you're more on the smaller size you can do 1.5 if you're more on the uh, double x you can do like 2.5 i'm going to mark two inches on this line and then i'm also going to connect it with a straight line down because this is going to be my dart I'm going to then come down here by one inch on this line and then I'm going to use a cup to blend it into this part here. After that, I'm going to go to this my armhole and mark this whole line and find halfway through so to my bust line. So that what I have here is about 10.5. Half of that is going to be, so I have about, okay, say 10 inches. Half of it is going to be about five, which is somewhere here. I'm going to connect this five inch to this straight, this line in a straight line this way and then the next thing i'm going to do like i said before depending on the size of your bust you can on a smaller person i can share 1.5 in between here so that's 0 0.5 above 0 0.5 below but this is for a bigger person so i can do one inch on both sides right i'm going to do one inch on both sides or i can just do 1.5 again let me just do 1.5 then i'm going to come up here by one inch again because you don't want everything to connect directly to your nipple i'm going to come up here by one inch just like i did below here came down one inch and then i'm going to blend it into this line again just like this connect your dart so once you've done that the next thing you're going to do is your lower line this lower line now i'm going to extend it by this 1.5 that i added here extend it this way just to help make sure that my dart is uh 
my dart i don't have a short leg of the, the other dart and then once you've done that go back in here and add that 1.5 right i've added it back and then i'm going to add two inches of sewing because now you all you have to do is just to go back in and insert all your measurements so my bust measurement divided by four which i already marked before which is 10.5 i added back this 1.5 i took away here when i was uh, marking this and then i'm going to add in like one um two inches of sewing allowance depending on how much you use for your sewing allowance i can just put back that here and then come down to your waist divided by four my waist divided by four is going to be eight point um five and then i'm going to add back in these two inches of that and then add back in two inches of sewing allowance and then the same thing at the hip hip divide, divided by four sorry i'm going to mark that and set back my two inches of um that which is these two inches here and then it's two inches of a uh, my uh, sewing allowance so mark that and then extend it all the way to the end now so i'm going to bring this line down like this guys like i said if you want an in-depth tutorial on this you can go to the video which i'm going to link below and then connect this to my waist and then connect this to my bust like this my bust this way so this is basically all you have to do for this one here and then you can cut it out and then we can start cutting the flay and then the, the neckline depends on you you can do a round neck or you can even go ahead and make it a um you can do a round neck or you can make it a boat neck a v-neck if you want it to have a zip then you can fold before you start to, if you want it to be the type that has the front zip you can go ahead and fold in like a zipper allowance here like fold in half an inch or one inch of uh fabric like this just fold this center part like this right fold it this part like this before you start to insert your measurements right or you can just cut it this way but when you go to the fabric you add 1.5 before you insert your pattern right so you you add in 1.5 for your zip or one inch for your zip before you start to cut if you want it to be the type that has a front zip so now that we've done this i'm just going to go ahead and cut out this pattern but before that we're also going to try to make the one for the back panel because we also need this for the back extended all the same lines i had in front and but the only thing i have to do now is just to go ahead and insert my shoulder measurement again and then divide my shoulder by two which i'm going to have this eight inches come down here by one inch of shoulder slope and then remember this one is my chest line which i'm going to use for the back so inside my shoulder my arm will divided by uh, two which is on this line here I'm going to go ahead and mark my bust measurement divided by four which is 10.5 i've marked it and then i'm going to just bring down this line this way so guys now that i've done this the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and um, mark uh just like we did in front i'm going to find halfway through this armhole now for me which is going to be about um so halfway through this is going to be five like i did before in front which is here i'm going to but instead of using this line i'm going to go up here by 1.5 because of the back that and then like i said before in front divide my nipple to nipple measurement by two add half an inch to it insert that on this chest line and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come down here and mark my nipple to nipple divided by four mark that here on my under bust sorry divided by two which is four i marked it here divided by two i also marked it on my waist so this is my waist under bust chest line which is also my armhole line and then my nipple line bust line which i'm not going to be using on this back panel and then the next thing i'm going to do is just to go ahead and insert the same four inches on my hip line which is this other line here my hip right and then this is the end of the dress i'm also going to mark that same four inches on the same line and then i'm going to connect them guys as you can see i'm marking it away from my um zipper line which is this 1.5 all my measurement starts after this line so i'm going to just mark a rule a straight line all the way from the end here to this point and then connect it all the way to the top like this and then once i come in here because this line remember on this line we added the half an inch but from here now we subtracted all that half an inch so there's i'm going to just connect from here to here because it's no longer going to be a straight line it's going to move out a little by half an inch here it's going to cover a little bit here and then i'm going to connect it from this you remember this is our so remember we went up by 1.5 on this line so i'm going to just go ahead and connect it this way from here to here like this so guys this is now my my back panel all i have to do now is just to go ahead and um 
I'm going to um, extend this line a little bit by, let's say, one inch, a little bit by one inch like this. And then I'm going to just draw it back down into this armhole. Before that, I'm also going to extend this one, I mark in one inch extra here. Extend this line by one inch and then mark it one inch extra down here. And then I'm going to connect this point to this point. It's going to now be my new armhole line, right? So I'm going to connect here to here. It's going to be my new armhole. So guys, once you've done it, this is our back panel. There's no extra that in here. All I have to do now is just to insert all my measurements. So on the bust line, like I did before, my bust is... Um, 42 divided by 4 is uh, 10.5. Add 1 inch and then I'm going to go ahead and add 2 inches of sewing allowance. Come down to my waist, the same thing. Waist divided by 4 which is 8.5. And then I'm just going to add 2 inches of sewing allowance here. I'm going to do the same thing on the hip. Hip divided by 4 which is going to be, um, um, sorry, uh, 48. I'm going to mark that. And then I'm just going to add two inches of sewing allowance here and then extend that down to my hip line. So I'm going to just rule a straight line down like this, just so I know that this is my the bottom part of my dress. And then I'm going to connect it to the waist this way, right? Sorry, it's going to, it's supposed to connect this. So guys, this is basically my back panel. All I did is just divide, divide all my measurements and add 1.5. Guys, like I said, I'm going to insert a video on how to draw this pattern. But all I wanted to have is just basically from my waist. Even if I just had a tracing paper with just my waist measurement on it, I would have still used it just up to my waist without the hip and just extend and add in the flay on the pep on the uh, on my fabric so once i've now that i've done this let me go ahead and cut it out so you see it's exactly the same thing like the one on the front and like this here so you see it's almost exactly the same thing that we have so it, the tutorial is more in depth if you go to the main video where i made it but this one here i'm just trying to get the pattern out basically everything guys if i wanted a zip in front all i have to do is when i'm drafting it i'm going to insert a zip in front like i want my zip at the back so this is what it looks like if there was no any zip at the back this part would have been on a fold and then i'll fold away this edge just like you have in front so you can insert your zip in front or at the back all you need is just to add the seam allowance and if there's not going to be seam allowance on each of them just go ahead and make that part a fold so if there was no zip allowance here my line would have started here my body would have started here and it would have been on a fold so that's basically it all, all, you, all you need for this so now we're going to bring out our fabric to start tracing everything out what I just did here is to fold my fabric into two and then just tape this all over. You see how I taped it on it. This will help me manage my fabric more. But guys, it depends on the amount of flay you want to have. So basically, once you've drafted the pattern, every other thing is done. All you have to do now, the whole point is just to extend the bottom with your flay. So you can decide to do like from the, where this ends now, you see. You know, like I said, I was supposed to increase the length because my, my dress, the length is the pattern of the, uh, this pattern stops at 36, right? And remember, I already added half an inch at the top of the shoulder. See the half an inch I added here? So I added this half an inch here. So there will not be any need. Normally, when you want to fold, you add one inch of folding the edge and half an inch for the top. So this half an inch is already here at the shoulder of my pattern. So all I need now is extra one inch of folding the edge of my clothes, right? So I want this dress to be 39 inches, right? So what I did here is to add one inch more to it. So that's 40. And remember, my pattern stops at 36. My pattern stops at 36, the length of this pattern. So to make that up to 40, 36, I need to add extra four. So I added extra four inches to it this way. And then 
you see where my cloth stops i then extended it again by extra like four inches or so guys at this part here you can do any amount you want if you want you can do extra six inches you can do any amount you want but just know that it's your fabric that that will determine that so all i did here is i made sure that this part here is on a fold right i just folded about two and a half yards of fabric this way or more than that i'm not sure and then i started to place everything so you see i placed this one going facing down and this part is narrower and then i put the wider part to face this way so that i can manage my fabric that way so you see what i did and then after that you're going to extend it from the end of the cloth where this this straight pattern stops you're going to extend add maybe six inches seven inches whatever you want to use for your flip but just remember that this is on a fold so like i've used um um and don't forget you still have these four inches here so like i've used eight inches down here that's plus these four inches i extended it by if i open up this flay now i'm going to have um 16 inches opening at the bottom of my clothes so that's quite um okay for me but if you want you can extend yours more than that so i just want to have this eight inches here that's it. my four inches of this my bottom part of my clothes and plus the extension and then you're going to draft it all the way to this part here to your waist you see i made sure to write waist so i know that this is the part where the waist comes in and guys another thing is that sometimes it's better to add more right you might want to go down a little bit and add like let's say you want your dress to stop at 40 maybe do extra more two inches so that in case if you, there's shortage of fabric when you're folding it because remember this is bustier that we are talking about here there's sometimes there can be shortage of one inch or so just try to have extra one inch or two inches so that in case when you finish everything you measure down the length of your dress and just cut off the excess it's better to have more than to have one end one ending this way and then the other one ending this way and then the other one ending coming down longer so just try to have everything the same add extra two inches or so and then once you're done with that you can cut off the excess with the main length of your dress that you actually want so now that i've done that i've pinned this down i'm going to go ahead and cut off this and then for the center pattern you see this is our center pattern and then for this um the side pattern you are going to add the center pattern you're only adding on one side because the center is on a fold but the one for the side you're going to be adding on both sides so you see this ends here and then the side ends here but i extended it four inches on this side and four inches on this side all of them connecting to the waist this one connecting to the waist you see so the same thing now on this back panel now i'm going to come down four inches for myself and then extend it four inches on this side connected to the waist four inches on the center connected to the waist but the one for the center back i'm only just going to connect from the waist to four inches down no two sides you understand so all i have to do now is to go ahead and start cutting mine out cut my sleeve just the basic sleeve is what i'm working with here and i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out now so guys once you've cut your sleeve that you'll be using so this is going to be my sleeve let me notch it at the top here so guys all you have to do now is just to go ahead you see i'm going to show you guys what each pattern looks like guys there's no seam allowance on this there is no seam allowance so you see all i did was just extend the length extend the side connect to my waist that is it for this one no seam allowance exactly like my pattern because remember we've already done this whole seam allowance thing on this side remember when we were doing two inches extra so there's no seam allowance everything is still the same all to the top you see and then i'll, I'll join these two together and then you see this is my back and then you see the bottom of this one the sides all have extension on the side like this on both sides right but you see the one for the center only has on the side the same on this one just on the side too so, you see this is the center front and the center back i only extended them here the center part of it is still straight but you see these two for the side is extended by the center is extended on the other end so that's basically it all i have to do now is just to go ahead and start joining and guys you can do different color of fabric you can do different color for the sides and then the center you can choose maybe a plain color or you can do a color for the center and then plain color for the sides right you can mix up the color but i'm just using one color for everything but you can just change up your color and make your make yours different so all you have to do is just like how you join your um, princess that take the center take the center if i open this up now so you see my center front guys imagine this was maybe made in black fabric or so or maybe any color 
and then this is the center and then i remove this from the side of the front you see and once i insert it here it's a different color here you see it's a different color and it's going to join to this side like this and there's one for each side there's one here and then there's a second one here coming to this side you see and it's just going to flay out so you can just make yours different it depends on you what you want to do so that's basically it so i'm going to go ahead couple everything together and then come back and show you guys what it looks like the back panel you see i closed it up at the back let me turn it so that you guys can see the inside you see i just did only five four inches of extension but you see how much flay i have at the bottom part here so guys um this is what it looks like at the back so this is the front of my own here. This is a, the front panel here, you see. So all I have to do now, you see where the bust is supposed to be in it. So all I have to do is just to take the two of them and join it shoulder to shoulder. So join it shoulder of this one to shoulder of this one. Guys, another thing you can do is before you join it, just so you don't make a mistake, notch it. So you can notch your breast points, notch your under bust, notch the waist. So that as you're joining it, you know where the waist starts and where. Because I notched it on my own. So that was how I was able to join it. So join the two shoulders together. And then you can come down two inches from the waist on the side. And then you can insert a pocket if you want to. So I'm going to come down two inches here and cut a pocket. Just like a square fabric. And then I'm going to sew one side of it on this side on one side. And then it's going to serve as my pocket. Guys, it depends on you if you don't want to add pocket to yours. But I'm just going to add a pocket to mine. Once that is done, I'm going to just insert the sleeve. And just close up the side all the way to the end. And fold the edge of my clothes. I've gone ahead and finished it up. You see what the bottom looks like. Guys, another thing is that when you finish, you might notice that the two ends might be too long and drop. A little bit just like how you cut like an a line the edge you come up by one inch at the edge because of the angle it might look like it's dropping at the side you might want to just chip up like one inch from the edge on both sides like the side so that's basically it it also has a pocket my lining and i use lining for the pocket part so that's basically what it looks like this is the back and um, thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye